Thorny, we have an update on a story we've been following all year long. Kias and Hyundais are getting stolen at record rates. A part of the issue is a viral challenge on social media. Fox 12 investigative reporter Ezra Kaplan is joining us in studio. He's looked into what the company is doing to fix the problem. Good morning, Ezra. Yeah, good morning. Just in the last year, 2,700 Kias and Hyundais have been stolen here in Portland. And while the trend peaked earlier in the year, the problem is far from solved. It took just two minutes for thieves to break the window and start the car. No alarm, no one noticed until the next morning. So I walked out and I was just like, oh my God, like I, I froze. I had no idea like how to process that at all. They called the police who actually found the car a mile away just two days later, but it was too late and the thieves had trashed it. Their exact words were it had extreme levels of methamphetamines in it, so it's being totaled. Jolie Foreman was now one of the tens of thousands of Kia and Hyundai owners whose cars have been stolen. In fact, her Hyundai Elantra is one of the most commonly stolen vehicles in Portland, second only to the Kia Soul. It's all thanks to the TikTok challenge known as Kia Boys. The viral videos showed people how to bypass the ignition and start vulnerable cars with just a phone and a USB cord. After a judge ruled earlier this year that a settlement wasn't enough for victims, a class action lawsuit is finally headed toward resolution. Under the new settlement, owners who had their vehicles stolen can get reimbursed for 60% of the value of their car. Those with damage will only qualify for one-third the value of their car or $3,375. But even if your vehicle is on the qualifying list, you aren't likely to see any actual payments until mid-next year at the earliest. We've reached out to Hyundai and Kia for an update on the fix, but haven't heard back. Meantime, Hyundai and Kia are partnering with Carfax to spread the word about what vulnerable owners can do. Now, uh, because of the um, online videos, they have created two types of fixes. One is there's a software update for the alarm system in the car so that it will uh, run for longer uh, and hopefully thwart any you know, determined thief. Or they have a basically a uh, steering wheel lock that will keep the car from being driven even if they manage to get it started. The company has added the status of the fix to vehicle reports on their website so that used car buyers can know if the car they are shopping for is vulnerable to theft. Only about 400,000 cars have gotten the fix. As of right now, there are about four and a half million that still need the fix. And it's important to think about when you go to uh, a relative's house or a friend's house for Thanksgiving or Christmas, check out their cars um, and see, you know, if they have a Hyundai or Kia, you can check their vehicle history report and see if they need that work done. But for Jolie, the retrofit hasn't been rolled out fast enough. I cannot believe that this hasn't been fixed. She says she never heard from the company about the problem until after her car was stolen. I feel like they're not taking responsibility in this situation. They're not you know, establishing, hey, we messed up and we're gonna make efforts to fix this. She says the whole experience has left her jaded as she shops for a replacement. So I'm also kind of hesitant just in general to buy a new car because I'm gonna buy it and then a few years down the road, what am I gonna learn about it that's gonna make it easily stolen? Now, one of the things the company is doing for owners of impact vehicles is reimbursing for the purchase of a steering wheel lock like this. It's an old school solution to a high tech problem. And, uh, you know, that's kind of where we stand. Yeah, and it's wild to me because it's such a huge issue. I mean, we've been it reporting is. on it for months and months. It is. And this is the only solution at this yeah, point? Yeah, really? I mean, this is pretty old school. Yeah. They have done a software update, as we talked about in yeah. the piece. Uh, that is going to do two things. It's going to hopefully keep your car from starting without the key in the ignition and extend the car alarm from three, 30 seconds to a minute, oh. hopefully to deter the thieves. But I, I had one of those in high school on my car. Yeah. I, do you actually use that now? I, I do. So I have an older is it car. Yours? This is mine. Oh. I've got a 95 Jeep. So uh -huh. it's a little bit older, yeah. kind of easy to steal. And yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's just a, it's a bit of security, right? Yeah. If a thief comes by and they see this on your car, they're probably going to keep walking. Right. Yeah. Or, or have a stick shift because not a lot of people. That's true. Drive your car's anymore, not right? going anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. uh, Ezra, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Absolutely.